Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video we will be reviewing a timepiece. Now I don't do this very often compared to handbags but today's a special day. It's a timepiece day. So without further ado, let's get started. So the timepiece I have decided to share with you guys today is an Hermes one. It's the Hermes R Ash watch. Now I've had this watch for quite some time, about 10 years to be exact. I did buy this watch on vacation, so it does kind of have a lot of sentimental value for me. Although it is 10 years old, it is still, the style is still available on the Hermes website, so you can buy it new from Boutique. And as you probably can imagine, the ba the not the bag, but the watch comes in a multitude of different sizes, hardwares, uh, the straps, there's leather straps, exotic skin straps, different colors, so the possibilities are endless. So price-wise, the watch does range from 2900 to 12 or 13000 USD depending on the whatever kind of combination you do choose. They do have diamond encrusted ones as well, so those ones obviously are closer to the 12,000, 13,000 range, if not more. It is also available, readily available, actually there are many, many, many of these available on the pre-loved market, and those ones are kind of more affordable. You can get one in great condition for less than 2,000 USD. Uh, there are many available on Chrono24, that's the website I usually use for my pre-love timepieces or watches. I will leave some links down below for all those of you who are interested in getting yourself an Hermes Heure Ash watch. So as for a little bit of history, the Hermes Ash collection is fairly recent. It was launched in 1996, so it's really not that old compared to other watches I've shared with you all on this channel. It is still in production today, like I just mentioned. It has quickly become, I will be honest with you, a signature collection for Hermes, just because it's just a huge giant H. So, I mean, it's very easily recognizable and you can tell right away it is an, an Hermes piece because of this giant H. And although the watch is very logo-y or logo-ish, I do think because everything else is so simple on the watch, I mean, the strap, the numerals, the dial, the colors are kind of neutral. It does kind of still keep the watch very sleek and chic and elegant without being too out there and loud and in your face. It does kind of have like a subtleness to it even though you can kind of tell from far away it is Hermes. <laughs> so now let's take a closer look to see exactly what I'm talking about. So my Hermes Heure Ash is quartz Powered, which means that it, is, that it is battery powered so the watch or timepiece keeps time until the battery dies and basically you have to just change the battery there is no uh, winding every morning or setting the time it really just runs 24 hours out of 24 hours until the battery dies now the case isn't stainless steel it's obviously gold plated and the strap is in leather And now this case, which when I talk about case, I mean like basically the whole H version, this part of the watch, including the dial, the hands, everything, the numerals. The case does come in a couple of different sizes. I like to call this one the like small, medium size. So it measures 21 millimeters by 21 millimeters. And there is a smaller size, one smaller size and many, many bigger sizes, if you will. It is shaped in the, the shape of an H, basically, for Hermes. And like I mentioned before, it is stainless steel and gold plated. As for the dial, the dial is in white. And you do have, I'm going to try to show you that better. You do have Hermes Paris inscribed on the front center of the watch. The numerals are Arabic numerals, so they're basically just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, until 12, in black. And you kind of do have this like gold-plated star motif in the center, which, which adds just kind of like a little pop to the watch. It makes it a little bit more interesting. 
and you have two hands so you basically have the hour hand as well as the minute hand and the hands are gold as well now the crown is fluted which means it has these like little ridges all around and you can see an h on it which bas basically stands for hermes or er if you want but i think it's mostly for hermes like that now the back of the watch is just a plain gray the newer models do have like the hermes logo the kind of like horse and carriage plated into the back which is really really pretty this one's kind of simple it's just basically a plain gray background uh, not yeah background and i don't know if it's gonna catch that but there is some engraving i can't really see it's very lightly engraved that's on this side you can't really ah oh, there you go it does say hermes paris swiss made stainless steel on the back and as you can see, it's very, very lightly engraved. It's kind of hard to see even in real life. Now the strap is in brown leather. It's kind of, it's not really the kind of like gold leather Hermes is known for. It's more of a brown, but it is, but it is beautiful nonetheless. And the stitching is in ivory, which makes it very nice for summer. The summertime, springtime. The clasp is also stainless steel, plated gold, obviously, like the rest of the watch. And it does say Hermès on the clasp. So as you can see, it's a very pretty watch. Simple, but kind of makes a statement at the same time. And because it's just their simple gold, brown colors, neutrals, it matches, it really does match everything. And the numbers are subtle, simple, really don't catch much attention. Now let's see what that looks like on my wrist. I'm gonna try putting it on for you guys. And now these straps, if you're not into brown and ivory, they are available in many different kind of combinations. You also do, if I'm not mistaken, have exotic skins available. And see, this is what it looks like on the wrist. The H is the perfect size, it's not too big. And it kind of just looks great with a shirt on, a pair of loafers and a pair of jeans. Now, although I've had this watch for quite some time, I love it very, very much and I don't see myself parting ways with it. It's just so easy to wear because it does have a huge logo or a huge H. It is kind of a more casual watch, but still very elegant and dressy at the same time, but more of a dressy casual. Like I wouldn't wear this out to a fancy party, more to like dressed up on the weekend, depending on what activities I have planned for that day. I feel like it is very timeless. I mean, everything about it is classic. It's very simple, subtle, straight lines. You have your black numerals on the white background, gold hardware, brown leather strap. So everything's very timeless and classic. And it's just easy, very, very easy to wear and mix and match with everything, honestly. If you are debating about this watch, you can't go wrong. And the prices are just so affordable on the pre-love market. I mean, if you're debating about it, go for it. So that was my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help this channel grow. And I guess I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.